Well, clearly it was a complete surprise to me and most people that the uh, Prime Minister decided to ask for an election to be called. And, of course, the timing's perfection, really, because she's triggered Article 50 now. Uh, the main continental powers, of course, France and Germany, are holding elections of their own. So there's a window of opportunity before the negotiations in Brussels start in earnest for an election to be called. It does seem as though perhaps Theresa May is intending to play a much longer game because she's talking about a transition period, an implementation period. Do you think she really does want as hard a Brexit as others in her party? Well, it remains to be seen. If Britain is actually to uh, crystallise the real benefits of Brexit, of course, those benefits are actually in our own gift, uh, but they can only be implemented once we've left the single market and the customs union. So actually to get the best economic outcome out of Brexit, rather than simply a poorer version of what we had before, we do have to leave those institutions and we do have to actually take courage and create an enterprise economy and a global free market economy. So actually what, what you're calling a hard Brexit, which I would call a clean Brexit, is essential if we're going to have the real economic benefits. Do you think though, that this will add to uncertainty for British business, though, the fact that we're facing the snap election. Well, businesses always face uncertainty and risk. That's what business is all about. And we've seen, actually, today, interestingly, the value of the pound rising, which, in a sense, shows that the markets think that the prospect of an increased majority for Conservative government is actually reducing uncertainty.